From the early 2000s, Nelson company Sea Dragon began extracting omega-2 from sharks for the health and cosmetic industries. Recently, it commissioned a $10 million purpose-built omega-3 factory refinery. It's set to add huge value to the New Zealand fishing industry. Omega-3 fish oil has become highly favoured as a health food supplement for consumers worldwide. One only needs to study a map to see New Zealand is surrounded by ocean. That means that the image of clean, deep blue seas enhances the image of our fish oils. To make our fish oil, we don't actually need to catch any more fish. We're just using byproducts from the fishing industry. There is a clear difference between omega-2, which we were basically producing from sharks and shark livers, to omega-3, which we're now producing from hokey, anchovy, tuna, and New Zealand king salmon. Tuna obviously doesn't come from New Zealand. We're getting the tuna from Fiji, American Samoa. The existing omega-2 factory can produce between 300 and 500 tonnes of refined fish oil per year. The new factory, the Omega-3 factory, the volumes are 10 times the size. So we can produce up to 5,000 tonnes of refined fish oil per year. The Omega-3 market is growing, is growing rapidly. It's growing between 10 and 15% a year. We are very close to the Asian market. So countries such as Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Korea, Japan, plus mainline China, we're kind of on their doorstep. We are currently in Sea Dragon's new refinery. This is one of two facilities. We bring into this facility in crude form fish oil from a number of other sources, both New Zealand and international material. And then we take that through a step process to produce uh, refined, finished fish oil that then can go on and be encapsulated into soft gels ready for consumption by uh, members of the public. So we're talking here about a purified product, although the material we're producing is minimally processed because we recognise that the consumer wants to have something that is akin to the fish oil in the natural state that occurs in the fish. But really what we've developed over the last number of years is a facility whereby we can remove that odour, we remove a lot of the potentially harmful oxidative products, making it a far superior product to the cod liver oil that you and I remember. This is obviously a very different facility, an older facility, and it's the one that really Sea Dragon built its squalene and its shark liver oil business upon. So the main difference being that what we're doing here is we're taking in different raw material and it undergoes a different process. So it's, it's an open process here. You'll have seen there that there's lots of different stages going on rather than the other facility, which is a completely enclosed from beginning to end. So essentially what we're doing here is we're taking shark liver oil and we are fractionating that into its constituent components. And the most valuable one of that is squalene. So we're taking that material out of shark liver oil. Uh, so really it's a purification and a fractionation process as distinct to a refining process that is going on at the new facility. We have different types of technologies running across the two facilities. They are additive in that both facilities allow us to offer to industry many, many different types of products than if we just had one facility alone. This is a crude oil that's come in as we would source that from fisheries around the world. It's dark because it's oxidised and it has a lot of components in there that really you would not want to be consuming. If you would open it and smell it, it has a very, very strong fishy odour because it's beginning to go rancid. So what we can do with this material is we take that and we take it through that three-stage process in terms of neutralisation, bleaching and deodorisation. This is actually a salmon oil from New Zealand King Salmon. And the reason that is that beautiful colour is because it has within it astaxanthin. So astaxanthin is the most powerful antioxidant known and it occurs naturally in high quality salmon oil. And finally, in terms of the capsules, what we've got here is, is any of these oils will really go to the next stage in the process, which we don't undertake, but 
essentially it's taking that into them. This is what the consumer will be aware of. This is how you take fish oil. So we don't undergo this encapsulation stage, but really what it's doing is it's taking that finished oil and it's putting it into a capsule. And really what it does then, it's an extra barrier in terms of ensuring that uh, heat and light and oxygen stay away from the fish oil and it maintains its high quality and its high purity. What we've been doing here is we've been able to shorten the period of time that it takes from catch to capsule, if you like, and also for the first time in New Zealand to be able to offer a true New Zealand caught, New Zealand manufactured fish oil. What we're seeing now is that international marketing companies around the world want to be able to tell not just the story about fish oil or omega-3, but they want to be able to tell where that product's come from, where it's been caught, how it was caught, is it coming from a sustainable source? Omega-3 is one of, if not the most researched natural health product in the world. I think at last count there's something like 30,000 scientific papers published on the subject. So we know that taking fish oil on a regular basis is good for health. And really what we're doing now is saying, OK, we recognize that, but there are some nuances in terms of where does that product come from? How is it manufactured? How is it stored? There's concerns about, obviously, environmental pollutants in some parts of the world. There's concerns about how long that fish oil resides in a, in a tin drum as it goes round and round the world until such time as it ends up on the, the shelf for the consumer to buy. So really, we have an excellent opportunity here to bring the story of New Zealand that many consumers around the world understand and to tie that in with a state-of-the-art the production facility and really shorten down that time from catch to capsule. <laughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.